Hey guys, welcome back to your Minecraft video, and today I've got something very special for you guys. This is a transportation method that will allow you to travel thousands and thousands of blocks, or any amount of blocks that you would choose, and this will allow you to travel those blocks in seconds. Let's get into it. Okay guys, so we're going to be using the Ender Pearls, our transportation method. And some of you might have seen um, some things like this before. I've only been able to find like four or five videos um, actually using something like this on YouTube. Um, but yeah, the ones that I did find were also five years ago, so I think there's a lot of potential in something like this. Um, what Basically what this is going to allow us to do is 300, I think 350 blocks that way. I have another one of these set up. And when I press this button right here, it's going to teleport me all the way over there because this soul sand is basically grabbing the ender pearl and holding it in this chamber, water chamber right here. And when we hit the button, it'll turn it off and the ender pearl will drop and hit the ground. So when I press this button, it's going to send us, uh, send that redstone signal, and now we are teleported. 350 blocks away so if we check we are now at 10,350 by 10,005 so if we turn this back on and we're gonna load it okay so now it's loaded and so now we can come over here and hit this button and now we're gonna be teleported so one thing that uh, you might have noticed right there is that um, what we would need to do is have um, some blocks under that um, because we are falling through the floor, um, which is not a big issue since this is just a um, just platform for um, the video itself. You would have your own flooring and stuff like that in your world. But yeah, so now as you can see, it kind of separate a little bit here, which is not a problem. Um, it should close um, with the soul sand right on top, but that doesn't really matter, so we can just turn it back on. And this is our chest. This chest has the ender pearls in it for storage. So now we can reload this. Oh, we missed. So you need to. Oh, and <laughs> ender might. These guys are the annoying part of ender pearl transportation, um, for me at least. But yeah, we just need to make sure that we're aiming straight up and get it right along this um, soul sand, right like that. There we go, so now it's gripping. And another thing, sometimes if you have a block right there, um, the ender pearl can hit that sometimes if it goes a little bit too high. So that's why we're using um, iron bars in the back. But it doesn't have a huge effect. You can use blocks if you would like. And so now we're going to teleport off this way. And this, real quick before we do that, um, this is an instant um, line. So this is allowing us to send the signal instantly um, to, uh, both ways, so two directional. And this one is also two way, um, but this one is two ticks per repeater. So, and redstone is the largest lag, or one of the largest lag causing. Um, things in the game so this one causes a lot more lag this redstone line um, this one causes a lot less lag and if you're watching um, two days ago I released a video on a rail duplicator um, which I'll link in the i cards which will be in the upper right and I'll also link in the end screens but that will make this um, this uh, line a lot cheaper than this one since you can just duplicate rails and get all the rails you need for this um, which will make this line a lot more efficient for you um, than more than this one, unless you would like to use the redstone. So now we can teleport off this way. And this one, as I said, takes a little bit longer, but now we are there. So now we can just hit the button, reload it. There we go. It's reloaded. As you can see, most of the time it's first try, but every once in a while, like I think over there I had to do it twice or three times every once in a while it doesn't load properly and I'm gonna be posting updates on um, 
teleportation systems like this and I'm gonna try and get the best method for you guys so that you don't have to worry about um, the loading so that it just goes first try and also I found this to be very rare but every once in a while I do get an ender pearl that despawns I don't think like I really haven't been able to recreate it after it happened but it's happened twice to me um, but I have not been able to redo it since um, a few edits to this so it, I don't know if it's still there but it might be um, but that is a super super rare um, thing for me at least so yeah this design is very reliable um, a few of them that I like two or three out of the five that I found were not very reliable at all and would um, every time you walked 500 blocks away or you walked until this was out of your render view or render distance um, then the ender pearl would sink and as you hit the ground as you came back into the um, distance so that you could see it it would just um, hit the ground and you'd TP which is obviously not what you want okay guys before we teleport back um, real quick I want to say that I have timestamps in the description so if you want to get to a certain part or you don't want to watch the entire video because I know this is going to be like a half an hour or so video um, I have timestamps in the description for you okay guys so now we're going to teleport back and so let's go hit the button and teleport over okay so as you can see that one is um, that one takes around four seconds and obviously if you had it longer it would take even longer to travel um, that's why this one is so much more efficient um, because you can one dupe the rails and two it is uh, almost instant so it's very fast the only delay that you get on this after hitting the button um, it isn't the line itself it's um, the um, delay at the end added in by these repeaters um, but yeah so now let's reload this real quick okay so we're gonna aim up reload it okay so it's all reloaded and so now I'm gonna talk about um, the design and I'm gonna go into a tutorial on how to build it I'm also going to talk about the chunk loaders that we are using um, to make this work okay guys so now we're roughly 300 blocks or so away from our um, original um, teleportation setup so now we're going to hit F3 and G on our keyboard and that's going to turn on the chunk grid and so now we can find um, roughly the mill of the chunk that we want um, our teleportation setup to be in and if we just make a four high tube this is going to be our villager chamber okay so now we're just going to place floor in there we're going to place our villager in and we're going to fill that in then we're just going to place in a roof and now we're going to finish off this villager loader by adding in the doors so we're going to have a one block gap in between this slab and um, this um, um, chunk border so now we're going to have our door then we're going to come over and do it the same on this side okay then we're going to come do it over here and we're going to do it right over here as well okay now we're gonna do it on this one and now we just do the other side so we are the same we're the one block gap in between our slab um, and this chunk border and then we're two blocks over here but it doesn't need to be two blocks um, that's just what I'm using so now um, we can come over here and we've got that side so now we just need the rest of it there we go and that's this side all finished okay so that's our villager loader or village loader and so now we need our chunk our standard chunk loader which is going to be our hopper um, what this hopper and dropper um, we're in our hot bar for uh, sorry so now we're just going to place our dropper on top of the hopper and the dropper um, it does a little bit of lag reduction on the hopper because the hopper is one of the uh, most or one of the most lag causing um, things in the game and so 
um, we're gonna place one item on there and I don't I, I don't I don't exactly know um, what the dropper um, does to reduce lag but it works so we're just gonna have it on there um, if you don't want to spend um, all that the cobble and redstone um, droppers you don't need them that's just helping lag a little bit so now we're just gonna do it on this side so we're gonna make like a T shape here okay so the hopper is facing into this chunk right here and so then this chunk we're gonna have these facing into the one uh, chunks next to it so we're gonna have one over here as well and to make sure we have those items in there so this one needs an item as well okay so now we've got this T shape right and these are facing into the bordering chunks right we don't have one going on that side we just have these three making like this T shape so now we're gonna come over here and we're gonna do this one like that okay so we've got this line right here and then we're gonna bring this all the way across in a line okay so we're just gonna make our droppers we're gonna fill that our item it doesn't have to be a diamond um, can be any item you would like but yeah they just need to have an item inside of them you could also place it in the dropper if you want and the hopper would um, pick it up within a second or so so just keep doing that so now we've got this line now we're gonna do the same thing so we're gonna come over to here we're gonna find the edge we're actually gonna need one more I forgot one chunk there okay putting our item in there let's go do this real quick so when you finish our line okay so now we've got our line all finished sorry if there's a little bit of background noise but yeah I can't get it uh, perfectly quiet so now we just um, are making that T shape again the diamond did I put our with um, our item inside that hopper did I put one in there no I didn't okay so make sure that you have the item in there otherwise this isn't gonna work properly okay there we go I'm just using the diamond for it to stand out but yeah you can use whatever item you would like so now we have one more on this now we're just gonna make a line and I'm gonna speed this up since I've already built all of that okay so now we've got this um, like rectangle shape right here and if we um, uh, I'll show you this in a minute so if we put a block in each of these chunks that are loaded so this hopper is pointing to this chunk um, keeping this chunk loaded so it actually is a square it looks like a um, rectangle because um, of the chunk loader but if we um, fill in the chunks that are loaded on the outside at least you don't have to do all the ones on the inside because you already know those are loaded so now we've got um, a square so we've got our square right here if we take that off so that's more like our square it's not perfect because I'm not placing the blocks perfectly but now we can just go and take these out real quick okay so now we've got our chunk loader all set up and now we're gonna build our um, teleportation system on top of this okay guys so now we're gonna set up our teleportation system and so we're just gonna put this up just like that and then let's do that uh, actually, let's just bring it over here okay so we've got um, this shape right here and then we're gonna grab that up just like that so we're gonna need one more in the end and then I need to quick grab wall and chest. Forgot those two. Okay, so we've got our wall. There's our chest. I'm gonna put those right there. Okay, we're gonna place our wall just like that. Okay, so we've just got that too high. And we're gonna place our chest right there. Now we can get rid of these, get these back. Okay, we're also gonna need to grab that. And so now, we can place our um, button right here I find that wood buttons work a lot better sometimes the stone one can mess it up a little bit um, but now we're gonna place our block right here and in the other build I used um, um, cyan and I'll talk 
about that later when I go over it. But cyan was the input color, magenta was the clock color, and different things like that. Um, but we're just going to be using the gray concrete um, for this. But um, now we're going to place our redstone torch. We're going to grab our iron trap door. Okay, now we're going to grab a observer. Actually, we need to face it that way. Sticky piston, four blocks of slime. Then we're going to grab four blocks of soul sand, like that. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to come out back here, and we're going to grab our observer, face it upside down. Then we're going to come under, so let's um, get that. Okay, just like that. Now we're going to grab our block, place it right there. And we're going to grab our block and place it like that with the redstone torch on it. Okay, so that we've got this. And now we can turn it on. Okay, so now it's on, and then we can also turn it off. Okay, so that's how you turn it on and off. And so now we can grab our concrete and just make a little... Um, uh, the like the tower um, water part of that so we're gonna need to contain it down there and we're gonna need it like that okay so we've got that we're gonna need our water actually let's do this first before we do that um, we're gonna grab our sign and um, I use trap doors you don't need trap doors but if we grab a trap door um, I think it looks better than having this block out, and then we can just also make it look intentional like that. If we have all three of them, it doesn't look so odd. Then we can place a sign like that, and I think that looks a little bit better. But yeah, it's your preference. So that's just keeping the water in. Um, you wouldn't need the trap doors if you had um, a block here or something else to hold up the sign. Now we can fill that in. Okay. Now we're going to grab our iron bars, and this is just um, something that I find helps a little bit. It's not really needed, but we can place those iron bars out the back like that. And now, what we can do is press this button, and that would start it all up. Um, we would then throw our ender pearl in, and yeah, it would um, be working. But what we're going to do is um, add in the um, signals that come from the other um, teleportation areas so the one-way line and the two-way lines and all of that redstone part but let's grab our ender pro real quick and load this up so let's start it let's get like that whoa that was weird okay let's aim it and hope that this guy doesn't spawn in. Okay, so now we can aim it up. And we've got it. So it can be a little bit frustrating um, when you have one of those spots that doesn't quite work. Um, that you just have to throw it a few times um, to make it work. But I, um, from my experience, it's worked first try. 80% of the time and every once in a while then you have to um, throw it twice or three times. So now we're going to add in the redstone part. Okay guys, so now we're going to add in the redstone um, bits and pieces here. So we're going to place a redstone dust right on top of this block here. Then we're just going to place a yellow wool block and then we're going to place three more. On the first one we're going to place a redstone repeater set to four ticks then we're going to place two redstone dust just like that then we just need a repeater um, just set on the one tick and then we just need a three by three here repeater set to two ticks facing into that one then a piece of redstone dust repeater on one tick and then we just have our redstone dust in a loop right there we could also have it like that if you want to but we'll just use that and then we have our input which comes in here um, so this is our one-way circuit so then you could run um, your redstone anywhere into um, this redstone here so we're just gonna use that 
and so now we're gonna be making the redstone sorry redstone um, repeater line or the two-way repeater line so now we've got our red for the redstone line color okay and so now we're going to have our repeater and I made a tutorial on this which I will link in the um, I cards in the upper right corner so let's build up this two-way repeater okay just like that we need our redstone on top here though so then we take our output from this block right here okay and then we can just um, run a redstone line into it and then we can do the same thing so our two blocks on the diagonal then uh, redstone torches on the back of these two blocks or what is going to be the back of this block let me just have that and that and those two blocks on either torch and then we just have our redstone dust on top and then we just have our repeater running into it like that with our redstone torch like that um, obviously we wouldn't have these uh, that close together we would have them 15 blocks so we would count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and then we'd have 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 this would be our, rat, our last redstone dust, the 15th so this um, would be the last one that could be powered since redstone gives um, an output of 15 for the power so then we would have our repeater right there so we just um, can take that out now and that is our two-way repeater line and our like receiving and output um, circuit okay and so right before we start this um, what we need to make sure is that we're not connecting it into this one again I'm gonna be connecting it into this one again just um, for the video but what you would do is you would have two of these so this line would go off to one and um, then you would have another one of these maybe going that direction which would go off with another line to your other destination and then you could also you could have as many as you wanted really um, but then the button this one it's going um, to that um, east destination this one's going to that south destination and yeah so now we're just going to we're not going to make another one of these we're just going to branch off this one which I just as I just said don't do but yeah for the video we'll be doing it so we're going to place our block right there and we're going to place an observer going into that block like that so now we're going to place our line like this this is going to be our rail line so we're going to count six so one two three four five six then this block is going to be up okay so then we go we count to six then we have a block up and then it goes back down okay so then we'll do this line in a second but let's just build that one out uh, short ways for a second then we're going to place our line just like that or not our line this is going to be a repeater so let's do that in green so that you can see it a little bit easier so now we're going to place our repeater and we're going to make like a small little u shape of redstone real, uh, real quick right there okay and i'm having a little bit hard time talking okay so we're going to place our redstone dust on top and we're going to grab that oh that there we go and now we're going to place our sticky piston actually let's do this first let's place our block detector rail then the sticky piston like that and then what you would do is just count all the way out to the very end so when it ver stops um, powering this rail right here then you would count another six so we got one two three four five six block up go back down all that and then we just continue it like that then we have our um, repeater set up just like that and we just repeat this one so this actually is not my design this repeater right here um, I wish it was because this is a really great design but I think this was originally made by Pan Nick um, on YouTube and I'll link that video in the description but right now we need a receiver because this right here isn't gonna work um, for sending the signal out and also receiving it so what we need to do is we need to have a line like this so we're gonna grab our yellow 
gonna place our repeater. Actually, let's do that and then we can have our repeater. Okay, so we're gonna place our line coming out like that. Then we're gonna have redstone dust, sticky piston, block on top of that. Then we're gonna have that repeater that can be one tick or two ticks. And then we're gonna have that. Actually, let's, we'll have our piston right here. Okay, so that will be updating this line. So if I update that line, um, this piston, it'll touch the uh, red, this rail right here, which will update it and send the signal. So then we have our um, line that's coming up is sometimes this one can spit out the block. So we can just do that and then we can have that just like that. So now we can send our signal from this side. So as you saw, if you might have seen there, um, this sticky piston spit out its block and that one just pushed it back down. Okay, so that is the, um, this um, kind of receiver and output um, section right here and that is the repeater rail line. And I really recommend using this repeater rail line more than um, just this more standard uh, two-way repeater. One, because it saves on time, and two, because the rails are very efficient because one, you can dupe them or duplicate them, and two, um, they cause a lot less lag than the redstone dust. Okay, so this is the original build I made, and the pink kind of just standed for like the clock part and the line going into it just to help it stand out a little bit more. And then yellow was this um, receiver and also the output um, for the different lines. Right here, we've got the same thing. And then the red was the redstone line or the um, rail right here. And I didn't bother doing green here just because I was trying to go quick. Uh, but the green was the repeater itself. So that would be the green, and then uh, the cyan was just the input slash output. Okay guys, so that is our teleportation system all done. That was the full tutorial and um, the guide on how it all works and everything. So this is the <laughs> overview of what we have um, for our system. And then um, what you could also do, because obviously you're not going to want to walk to the input you could just have like a um, wall of inputs or something like that that you can then choose your destination by and yeah that's just um, a few thoughts on of things that you could add into that and that is our entire teleportation system done so I know this is quite a long video this was like uh, I think 27 minutes or so long um, but yeah, it was worth it to get all this information to you guys and to really show you exactly how you can make this for yourselves and really speed up um, your transportation and everything in your Minecraft world. This would also um, speed up just playing in Minecraft as well because the transportation is such a huge part of Minecraft. Um, getting around a lot quicker is really, really huge. So yeah, that's just... Um, my design um, for this teleportation system. I hope you enjoyed it. I am now um, two weeks into my 30-day um, video challenge, which is I'm uploading a video every day for two weeks. Not two weeks. <laughs> for one month, sorry. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I hope to see you in my next video, and goodbye. Never order, never mind. Oh, I